Hey hey, welcome to my channel, I'm Elma, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 5 simple tips to have beautiful skin. If it's something you're interested in, keep on watching. I gotta tell you something I could do. The first tip I have for you is to be diligent with your skincare routine. One thing I've noticed is when I am not consistent with my skincare routine, I don't usually see change and my skin usually just degrades. And that's because skincare usually takes about a month to, you know, show its benefits and all that. So you really want to be consistent with your skincare routine in the AM as well as in the PM. Especially in the AM, one thing you do not want to forget and it's the last product you want to be applying to your skin is sunscreen. Applying sunscreen is going to serve as a barrier and all your good work is not going to go to waste because as much as we all love the sun and we love to be sun kissed, the sun is not your best friend and it ages your skin if you have dark spots and stuff like that, it accentuates them even more. So make sure you have an SPF as the last product in your AM skincare routine and in the night you want to make sure that you're tackling all the issues you have uh, with your skin because that's usually when everything as you're sleeping regenerates. So being diligent with your skincare routine is the first step towards having beautiful skin. The tip I have for you is to remove your makeup before bed. That is so very important. I personally like to double cleanse. So what double cleanse mean is that you first go in with some kind of like oil, balm, textured uh, type of product to really break down the makeup. And what I love about that, and that's why I always recommend this opposed to say using wipes. I don't recommend wipes because it's very harsh and abrasive on the skin and oftentimes a very very drying. No matter how moisturizing a wipe is going to claim to be, it's never really going to be as moisturizing as that. And what it does is that it just breaks down the makeup super easily in a really gentle manner and that way you're not being harsh to your skin. You don't want any of that. And then I go in with some kind of like soapy cleanse to make sure that all that is all gone if you just you know you're out and about and you just have a wipe yeah sure go for it but it's something that i really do not recommend also wipes are not so good for the planet the tip i have for you is maybe one you wouldn't think about but changing your pillowcases often is really a good way to helping your skin feel beautiful because it does build up with product all that sweating at night so you want to be regular with your schedule if that means adding a reminder on your phones is every other two weeks that is a good tip that is what i personally do changing your pillowcases could really help clearing up the skin because you're not sleeping on thin pillows number four and this is so very important and it's a question i often ask people who are like oh i don't like wearing makeup because you know every time i wear makeup i break out blah 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 and my question often is when was the last time you cleaned your brushes when was the last time you cleaned your sponge brushes sponges all that they collect gunk plus collecting of products cream products all those things you want to make sure you're cleaning those regularly if you're kind of lazy like i am here's my tip for you Usually what I do, you know, because I do YouTube videos and all that, I'm not cleaning my brushes like full shampoo, all that, all the time because then I might need to wait for them to dry. And even though I have a whole bunch of brushes, I don't have the time, okay? And so usually what I do in between full cleanses or in between makeup looks and stuff like that, I usually use a quick drying makeup brush cleaner. Those are really nice. It removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria. This one specifically is from Cinema Secrets. It's one of my favorites. I use it over and over again. I usually buy the big, big bottle and then you know, dispense it into here. But for in between cleanses, this is perfect. And then once a month, what I do is I clean it with you know baby shampoo or um, Dawn soap, something like that, something mild, or even like a bar soap. Just wiggle my brush in, clean it, let it dry overnight on a towel at a slight angle so that the water, when it's dry, doesn't go into the bowel and unsticks you know, your brushes. So that's a tip for you. So make sure you're cleaning your brushes as often as possible, but definitely not least. You are what you eat. Listen, I know that is so very cliche to say, but it is very important to know that whatever it is that you're putting in your body is definitely going to show up on your skin. You know, acne, all those things are going to show up. I personally find that when I don't eat healthy, you know, like fries, all those things, like unhealthy foods, and I don't have enough you know, like vegetables in my diet, I find that my skin will just is like sis what the heck is going on um, another tip i have for you is maybe the reason why you have you know bumps and stuff like that is because you might be intolerant or allergic to something so that might be also a reason why your skin isn't clear so take note of what you're eating i realized a couple of months ago that 
anytime I had milk or anything with milk in it, one, my belly will hurt, and two, I realized like I would have like little bumps and stuff like that on my skin, and I was just like, what the heck is going on? And I realized as I was removing process of elimination, peanuts, those things, oh, milk, I was like, oh, ooh, wait, I feel better now, what's going on? And I have switched to um, oat milk. Being French, I still like my cheese, so I take a lactate for those, but I have considerably reduced my intake of cow milk, so that is something you could look into. Maybe that could be something. Go see your GP, see what they say. I'm not a doctor, but it's also something to consider. So you are definitely what you eat and you want to be uh, careful and pay attention to that. And you should be drinking a lot of water because what it does is like it purifies your skin, but also it moisturizes and hydrates your skin from the inside. You, you realize like when you drink more water, you're flushing out you know all those bad toxins all those things but also your skin feels more hydrated more plump and less parched and because your skin is more hydrated and feels more plump there's less likelihood of it feeling like you know rough and all those things so you really want to be careful of what you are eating and those are the five simple tips I have for you for beautiful skin they're really easy to implement into your routine and once it's part of you you realize that it's just you know second nature honestly implementing this in my routine and part of my lifestyle has really helped my skin I admit I'm not the perfect person and, and sometimes I'm not as diligent with my skincare as I should be but definitely when I am and I follow these tips I find that my skin is just like hey thank you for doing this that's amazing I don't know if I said it earlier but my skin type is dry if you would like to see an updated skincare routine for me please comment below and tell me so I know to do one if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel and if you think this video would be helpful to someone kindly share it as well and if you haven't done it already and you want to join the family, click on that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you're notified when I have new videos up. And uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. At this point, there are a couple of videos that have just popped up on the screen. Watch them if you haven't already or go perusing on my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye!